Screwed up the world, make it a better place for you and me and for all the rest. The rest of us who want to thrive and make it better way of life. Fruit up, fruit up. Hello, hello. Welcome to Sasha Soul Studio. <coughs> Day 33, 63, I'm sorry. <coughs> of Blogger 90. <coughs> talking about patriotism <clears throat> um, the, the um, unconditional unwavering love for your country um, for whatever country whatever country you, f you consider your home right homeland because some people consider their homeland the like where they grew up instead of where they were born and some consider a place where they were born their motherland their homeland which is you know for me it's Russia <clears throat> and I've had to deal uh, with watching patriotism patri patriotic people closely um, all my life pretty much my dad is my, my daddy is a military man he's been in the military all his life now he's retired <coughs> but um, um, well to go straight to the point I honestly don't understand this feeling this unconditional love and support like, no matter what no matter what for your country like um, without thinking like uh, irrational irrational like seriously irrational that's how I see it. I don't know maybe I'm wrong about patriotism but that's how I see it. like completely irrational love is like um, being um, fan you know die hard a fan of some um, singer or um, actor it's like no matter what they do no matter how bad movies he's still the greatest he's still the best and then like so blinded by what this uh, person impressed them with their like first few roles um, that they care complete uh, that, that they um, continue to carry on this image they created in their head through their whole career and put it on personal life like they think they know this person and it's like they can't do wrong in any role or any um, any uh, okay or any um, make any personal mistakes like everything they did is just right and they always right and whatever bad coming out about them it's um it's probably made up you know um it's like blind love this blind um trust um same with the country it's like they brainwash you from much birth that your country is the best country in the world you know that history in every country for every school I mean for, for school you okay uh -huh. um, for um, school um, textbooks they create different history they show it from completely different perspective where they put their country as the greatest as the greatest um, and all the facts are distorted from every every angle um, and that's how they create this unconditional love for your country so then you grow up in case they need you to go fight for the country you're ready to go you're ready to um, leave your family behind leave everything behind just to save your country just to play your part 
Oh, Mitch, Camille, that's dangerous, sweetie. Let's not do it, okay? I don't want you to get hit, baby. Um. So it's like it's like so blind, and people buy into it, and I feel it's like I, I feel very sympathetic and compassionate towards people who don't turn their brain on, don't don't um. Uh, think that there is something bad you know there is something's going on like um, they, they always think that their country is right their country is the best they have been taught to think that and to believe that I know I'm not I'm, I'm very uh, I'm talking very like surface like on a uh, not, not, not going deep I don't know in details but <coughs> I don't feel like it but in general I, I just wanted to say that no that's not my thing uh, obviously right I'm um, I'm Russian but I live in America and I have no intent to go back to Russia to live there I love my country still but I love certain aspects of it not like I accept it um, completely so I'm like ready to forever stay there I think there are so many great places on earth um, and I consider myself a person of earth not of certain country all this um, fake um, fake boundaries country boundaries and um, Broads, mm, you know the the, the limits. <coughs> um, I don't know. It's just all a, it, it's all a game. It's just all in case they need to fight. And they need to use the regular citizens to go do it for them to go kill each other. Uh, they can do it. So it's just in case. Let's, let's, um, okay, over there, okay, let's raise everybody with this, um, blind love and trust in their country, so just, just, just in case we need it, we need to use it. So I, I'm I'm not this kind of person. Definitely, I, I love Earth. I love every country. Uh, I love some things about Russia. I appreciate it for its nature, its beauty, its people, um, my wonderful childhood. But I'm I'm positive it could have been better, actually. I'm positive about that. If I was in a different country, um, it could have been worse. But everything happens for a reason, for a reason, and everything's good. And I'm glad I had that experience. But I am definitely not a patriot, and I'm kind of very careful with people who are patriots because their way of thinking is that my I mean uh, it's not something I vibe with like it's it's one of the red flags to me big signs that mm, I doubt I, I want to deal with this person okay thank you guys for coming checking this video out and I will see um, the, the, the next topic is about trolling um, you know negative comments in you know in YouTube if you have a channel how you deal with it um, do you have to deal with it and how you deal with it and this is trolling and so social media stuff like that negativity all kind of negativity 
let's live yeah let, let's let's keep it like more specific in this in this area not in the whole general area but just like youtube and social media and trolling where you can you don't even know the person <laughs> who is the <a> troll <laughs> so thank you guys for coming thank you for checking me out and i will see you tomorrow have a wonderful wonderful day Fruit up, fruit up.